Mr. Puppy, then her, a Southeast Portland woman, swallowed by a sinkhole, all because of a hidden danger your, your homeowners may not even know about. The sinkhole that trapped the woman was an old septic tank or cesspool, and they're not that uncommon. News Channel 8's Kylie Boshi is live at the scene with more on the rescue tonight. Kyle? And Joe, the sinkhole in this woman's backyard isn't very big. It's about the size of this trash can lid on the surface, but it definitely is deep. From Sky 8, you can take a look at the plywood that now covers that sinkhole right along the fence line. The woman fell 20 feet down and was surrounded by darkness. Trapped, a Portland woman found herself at the bottom of this dark, watery pit. She'd fallen down a 20-foot sinkhole in her backyard while looking for her dog Tuesday night. A neighbor heard the screams. I didn't know if it was animals or uh, an actual person, and as I got closer, um, I could tell that it was someone, in fact, uh, crying for help. The neighbor called 911, and rescuers raced to the scene in southeast Portland. Hello, I have an emergency. Okay. Um, my neighbor is stuck down in a hole in her backyard. Fire crews used a rope to pull the 33-year-old woman and her dog out of the sinkhole. Neither one was injured after taking a tumble and then spending 10 to 15 minutes below ground. Neighbors wonder what caused the sinkhole. Having three children, I... Definitely, I'm going to be watching them when they're running around out here. City inspectors determined the sinkhole was actually an abandoned septic system or cesspool. Recent sewer work and heavy rain may have softened the ground, causing the soil above the old sewage pit to collapse. Cesspools are pretty common. Um, they were a type of sanitary sewer system that was put in place before the city had um, a public sewer system. So they're, they're, they, you know, they're they're throughout the city. So these could exist and homeowners may not know? That, that is correct. The city suggests owners of older homes like this one built in 1907 check historic records to find out if septic systems or cesspools have been decommissioned. Otherwise, you could unexpectedly find this. So the next step for this homeowner is to get someone to pump out the sewage from that cesspool and then fill it with sand and gravel. Back to you. Wow. Thanks, Kyle.